Hello everyone, Jason Warren with DT Met, and I've got an update on the winter storm that's impacting the west coast today and eventually will move into the plain states and intensify into a major winter storm for portions of the northern plains and also bring a severe weather threat to the southern plains. This morning we have an ongoing area of snow across portions of uh, New England and into the northern mid-Atlantic and this could dump a few inches of snow across the higher elevations of northern Pennsylvania and into New York and then ac across parts of interior New England today. Uh, amounts should remain uh, manageable in this area and the system should move out quickly by this evening. We also have an area of heavy rain across parts of the Gulf Coast states from Texas into Louisiana and parts of southern Alabama and Mississippi and flash flooding is possible with some of these storms as they train across these areas today. Big storm continues across the western U.S. where we have this big trough that is dug in across the west and impulses rotating through it and we continue to see heavy snow through the Sierra Nevada mountains and in the mountains of the Great Basin stretching up into portions of the northern Rockies. Um, some areas in the Sierra Nevada mountains have seen several feet of snow and we'll see an additional one to two feet before the snow winds down later today. This huge trough across the west is eventually going to spread across the southern Rockies and Great Basin tonight and through the day on Monday and eventually emerge in the Plain States on Tuesday where a surface low is going to develop and intensify across the central plains and this system is going to bring very heavy snow to the northern plains and the threat of severe weather for the southern plains and Mississippi Valley. As the system in the west spreads inland, snow showers will continue across the Rocky Mountain states through the day on Monday and into Monday night. As we head into Tuesday morning, the system will begin to intensify to the lee of the Rockies with heavy snow developing across the western Dakotas down into eastern Colorado and eastern Wyoming. The severe weather threat will develop from southern Nebraska through Kansas into Oklahoma and possibly as far south as northern Texas. The system will continue to mature and intensify during the day on Tuesday with blizzard conditions expected to develop across parts of the Dakotas and eastern Wyoming, possibly into western uh, Minnesota during the day, with severe weather expected to the south across parts of eastern Texas and into the lower Mississippi Valley, especially across southern Arkansas and northern Louisiana where the threat for tornadoes will exist. The Storm Prediction Center's Day 2 outlook, which is for Monday, shows the severe weather threat is marginal across parts of Kansas stretching down into Oklahoma and northern Texas. And this is for the threat of damaging winds, large hail, and possibly an isolated tornado or two. The day three outlook, which would be for Tuesday, shows an enhanced risk of severe storms across southern Arkansas, northern Louisiana, and far southwestern Mississippi and far northeastern Texas. This is surrounded by a slight risk. This is for the potential for damaging winds, large hail, and isolated tornadoes. There will also be the risk for flash flooding and excessive rainfall across parts of the lower Mississippi Valley uh, during Tuesday as well. And the Weather Prediction Center's Day 3 excessive rainfall outlook shows a slight risk for excessive rainfall and flash flooding from Louisiana northward into western Tennessee and southeastern Missouri. Looking ahead, we'll have to continue to watch that system as it wraps up across the northern plains next week. We'll have to watch also for the potential for severe weather Wednesday and Thursday across portions of the southeast eastern U.S. Eventually the system over the northern plains will spread eastward, bringing snow across portions of the Great Lakes and Midwest as we head into late next week and its next weekend. But the biggest change will be the cold air that is expected to spill southward across much of the central and eastern United States by the end of next week and into next weekend, which will be a big change from what we've experienced so far this December. If you're dreaming of a white Christmas, well, the GFS is advertising several systems that will move through prior to Christmas that could bring snowfall to portions of the Central Plains, the Midwest, and even parts of the Northeast and the Great Lakes prior to Christmas. We'll have to wait and see how the pattern evolves and where the storms are actually going to, to be. But at this time, it does look like it's going to be cold from the Central Plains eastward 
through the Great Lakes, the Midwest, and into the Northeast the week before Christmas. We'll be posting additional updates on our white Christmas forecast as we get closer to Christmas and we get more model information, so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when we post new videos.